What is up guys, it's Kitsos from Coastaline and today we have another theme park vlog from Silver Dollar City this time. Um, so basically, uh, I just wanted to start early because look at the view here. It's going to be a little rainy in the morning, but then it's going to clear up by 11 o'clock. So not a big deal, I don't think. But wow, look at that view guys. I don't know if you guys can see it, the trees are in the way, but it's in the awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. Um, we're going up a mountain because, in case you don't know, Silver Dollar City is located in the Ozark Mountain Range. Um, much like Dollywood, it has mountainous terrain, lots of terrain-based rides. So uh, definitely something to keep into account, or take into account. But yeah, look at that. Wow. Civic overlook over there, but you're not seeing anything because of the clouds. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, welcome to the vlog. Just want to show you a little bit, and if I see any coasters peeking up, I'll be sure to show you guys. There's the Time Traveler ad, another one. And now I'm 0.2 miles returning on the Indian Point Road, Silver Dollar City. Still looking for coasters, Turn left but at the traffic light, then keep right. But I'm not seeing coasters. But they're famous for that. You can't see anything until you're in the park, and sometimes even then, you can't. But, uh, yeah, we're there. We're almost here. I'd say this is probably my most anticipated park of the entire trip. Probably. I'd have to say, yeah. This is the most anticipated park of the trip. By far. So, I'm really excited to get on some of the coolest rides around, like Time Traveler. Assuming, of course, that they're running. They are. Okay. Outlaw Run. Um, Thunderation looks like an insane arrow mine train. Another insane arrow mine train? Yeah. How many are we getting this month? Then you got Wildfire, the B&M sit-down looper. And what else? You got Powder Keg, which is there. Right right lane. So yeah, we it's got... both lanes, but I'll get in the right lane. Keep right on Silver Dollar City Parkway. All right, guys. In one half mile, arrive at Silver Dollar City. Free parking, left line. lane. Free parking, left lane. So apparently they have free parking available. Yeah, well, let's see how free it is. You gotta walk a mile and a half in the rain. Oh, that's true. Here we are at the parking lot. So we don't see any coasters. In one quarter mile, arrive at Silver Dollar City on the right. Uh, that's where the free parking is. That's way too far out. We're gonna have to pay. I think. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. There's free parking there. Yeah. It's still uh, too far out. I don't know. Arriving at Silver Dollar City on the right. I, I do not see a single roller coaster. Right there. Oh! There's Wildfire, the B&M sit-down coaster. Never mind, let's zoom in on There's that. There's a lot of people here today. Yeah. They're all parking for free. Well, that's because <coughs> the park disabled reservations. You don't need them anymore for the amusement park, the water park you need them. Yeah, over there, the B&M sit-down Wildfire, which is supposedly a really good ride, so I'm excited. Nice B&M coaster there. 
It's a pretty unique layout for a B&M as well. Has a Immelman, a vertical loop, a Cobra roll, and a corkscrew, if I recall. And where the hell is the front door? Well, we're going to have to take a tram, probably. Which, luckily, they offer. So, <sighs> guys, I'll see you guys in the park. Alright guys, we're on the tram to get to the front of the park. Yes, I'm Paul. As Joe is your driver today, I'm Ben, your conductor. Welcome to the Church of Dallas City. We're happy you're here with us today. Alright. Now that we have wow. over, I'm going to give you the CDC guidelines. we got to talk about that. First of all, the base man. We boarded at stop two. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm gonna forget that one. Yeah. That could be important. Considering there's no stop three or there is a stop three, but nobody was there. Yeah. Stop one, stop two, stop three, stop four, stop five, stop six, stop seven, stop eight, stop nine, stop ten, stop eleven, stop twelve, stop thirteen, stop fourteen, stop fifteen, stop sixteen, stop seventeen, stop eighteen, stop nineteen, stop twenty, stop twenty-one, stop twenty-two, Blurred guys, blurred. Shout out to Mr. Roller Coasters, blurred. Yes. He got me started doing that. I say oof and blurred, so I'm like a capital center, you know? Huh? I was making a joke that one of my subscribers will understand, and actually several of them probably will. Oh no, that everybody understands that. This this tram is like a Vacoma. Wow, look at this coming up. Oh! Oh. Some of that is a lot like Swamp Fox, too. Huh. Yeah. What we don't, what we probably don't know is that Vacoma actually secretly made Swamp Fox's track. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah. Obviously not, but. One can find someone to blame. As I see in the park. Okay, guys, we are coming up here. Also, you'll find that the staff are all themed at this park. All what themed? Yes. Yeah. They're dressed in themed garb. The theme is basically an 1800s mountain town. So, uh... Please play safe with us. Please follow ready. social distancing guidelines keeping six feet apart get from ready. around you. Oh man, I'm so excited. I cannot... There aren't words to explain how excited I am to get on the likes of Wildfire, Outlaw Run, Powder Keg, some bucketless rides that I've wanted to ride for years and now here we are getting ready to go here at Silver Dollar City. Now Papa on the other hand, I don't know. What are you thinking? It's not your typical park entrance, I'll tell you that. No, it's not. Doesn't need to be. Need. Yeah. Doesn't need to be a typical park entrance. Wow. Look at the theming already. It's excellent. The Harvey Water Clock, and we're in 1880 now. That's the year. Do you guys want to get in the park? Okay, guys. Wow. 
Okay, guys, we just walked in the park, and wow is all I got. Yeah. Look at this. This is one of the most famous theme parks outside of Florida in the world, and I can already see why. I mean, this is... Cinnamon rolls, butter cake. They're famous for their food here. We're gonna have to eat for sure at some point. Look at that. I don't see anything with no sugar. No. You're a little out of luck there, man. Maybe artisan bread, sourdough? Yeah. All right, so we, we're gonna get into the park here. I don't know where we're going. I guess we'll go to Time Traveler, maybe. We're just kind of wandering at this point. That's what we're going to do. This park is apparently a great park to wander in. Apparently. Wonder, wonder, oh, so, uh, yeah, this park, well presented already. Definitely looks amazing. And I heard about this. You go through a gift shop, but the gift shop's even themed to get into the main park. And it looks really nice. Like, you got brick walls. Wow, really nice. Guys, I'm just gonna give you all a heads up. Grab the popcorn because this vlog is gonna knock your socks off with how long it is. Yeah. I can already tell this isn't gonna be an hour and 10 minute vlog. Get ready for another banger, guys. Oh, something smells amazing. I don't know what it is, but it smells amazing. <laughs> Sounds like wood burning almost, but like yeah. mixed with barbecue. All right. What? I'm looking, I wanna see. I don't blame you. There's a lot to look at, isn't there? So? Why? Why would we do that? Let's have fun. Come on. I think this is the way to... Do you need it? I'm hungry. I told you. I have to eat. Well, you have to eat, but you don't have to... Why? Those are like mountain breakfast. Breakfast is served until 11, p 11 a.m. Time is it? Ooh, that looks good. But it's twelve seventy nine for the thing. It's family style too. I don't know, guys. Should we do it? Comment below. Well, I guess I won't know. Well, I, that was a stupid statement. What? Comment below if we should eat. Yeah. <laughs> wow, guys, I am so jacked up on sleep deprivation. You want right to go or not? Do you have it, coffee? It looks freaking amazing. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't want to eat and then go on rides. Point taken. So, maybe we'll just eat lunch here. I gotta have something. Here. No, you don't. Yes, do. You want to have something. No, you don't I've have got to have something. No, you won't. You won't get low sugar because there are plenty of places to buy sugar here. Yeah, that's not my problem. McCoy's only no Hatfield. Even though that had nothing to do with the Ozarks, it was all West Virginia. West Virginia. Camden Park in West Virginia. Definitely not this place. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Morning. Wow, the themed employees are, it's amazing, just the immersiveness. This way. Again, I need to get close enough to read the signs on the restaurant. You mind. Train. Yes, time travelers this way, so we're going the right direction. American Plunge, what the hell is that? It's a uh, lot. Wildfire. Wildfires to B&M sit down. American Plunge is the uh, lock one. Wow, this park is so well presented. I mean, it's unbelievable to me. It really is. Um, I expected a lot and it's exceeding. 
I had high expectations and it's already exceeding them. Yes, it is. Look at this. Yeah, blacksmith. It's real. They actually make this stuff in front of you. And the fun thing was, nobody gave a hoot about social studies, so they kind of leave us alone. You know, the math and English and science people, they were constantly getting off that and But, what kind of Also, I hope they're running the sign for Time Traveler. Like, sometimes it's not running, but when it's running, it's a really cool sign. It's basically an infinite loop sign. A Mobius script. I don't know how, I don't know if that's what it is, but it basically looks like it's constantly new pieces are coming into play. Huh. Yeah. This is definitely a middle of nowhere park, kind of. Like, it's a whole new world. Yeah, you see how hard it's going to be to climb up to go back to car, too. Yeah, I think. Blown glass factory. And the cool thing about Silver Dollar City is this isn't all just for show. They actually do this stuff. Sure they do. Here, so it's like Dollywood in a way, but like I think it's done better. Oh, there it is. The sign for Time Traveler. The Mac Rides Extreme Spinner. Looks like all the rides are down because of the thunder yeah. probably, but... How much does it spin? It's more than one Mobius strip, but it's big. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Alright guys, I'll see you guys when they open the queue line. line. Yeah, this is the line for Time Traveler. This is a, apparently one of the best rides here, so we're going to be waiting. But they have to open the gate, so... My guess is the lightning in the area shut it down temporarily. So, uh, I'll see you guys once we get in the queue line. All right, guys, we've been waiting over an hour for the rides to reopen, and they have. We're entering the queue for Time Traveler, the Mac Ride, the extreme spinning coaster built in 2018, I do believe. Was it 2018? Yeah. I think so. Or is it 2019? It's 2018, yeah. I think. Now. Yeah, the. So, as the person behind us said, it does. It is a controlled spin, which is actually probably good considering if you got motion sickness pills. But uh, imagine Gerslauer trains on this, just uncontrolled spinning through inversions. That'd be insane, but maybe a little too insane. So nice Mac rise. That was a awesome ride. Yes, it was. And wow. The only good thing about it was I didn't mark. Yeah, I don't think it wasn't even nauseating. No, it, was, it wasn't. The it spin wasn't. was perfectly controlled. I I think. I did think that going downhill. Oh, that first sideways, drop. Sideways. That first drop was. Kind of like weird, but. That's why I said let's sit in the back row because apparently the first drop was is insane in the back row. I said, wow, that first drop, just straight out of the station, 90 wait, degrees. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know why it's not open yet. Oh, that's why I'm looking at the wrong line. So. That's for Thunderation. The mine train. I don't know what's going on. Must be down. Oh, right, guys, but wow, that ride. <sighs> yeah, it was awesome. That was awesome. Wow. All right, guys, we'll see where we go next, but wow, it looks like Thunder Ration might be down. Uh, uh, yes. Huh? Yes, yeah. it was awesome. It was wonderful. All right, so. There's a famous sign, guys. Looks like Thunder Ration's down, though. Maybe we'll come back. Yeah. Alright. Sounds good. 
We'll come back to it. Thunder Ration's down at the moment. Okay. So, um... Wanna just go that way and see what's there? I don't know. Guys, it, the time traveler, there aren't words that properly just describe how good that ride is. Um, it's by far the best spinning ride I've ever done, and it's so intense. The forces are awesome. In the back row, there were a couple moments of ejector air. Yeah, there were. The menu for oh, this. No. 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 And Maybe one of them too. Jambalaya is not going to be Jambalaya because it's not going to have shrimp or crab or something like that. Yeah. Well, guys, Time Traveler is a top 20 coaster for me, I'd say. I don't think it breaks... I, the... I think it cracks the top 10 or at least it gives it a... A good run for it. Run. Yeah, yeah, that... Papa thought he wasn't going to like it. I think he liked it even more than I did, and I loved it. So... I mean, considering he's ridden more coasters than me and he puts it around his top 10. I'd say top 20 for me, maybe top 15. But it, it's hard to rank on the fly. You got to really think about it. Yeah. But what a ride. Can't eat with these sanitized hands or sticky, bro. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go find another coaster somewhere. Somewhere we'll find a coaster. There's signs up here that'll tell us where things are. Um, it's raining again, or it's something or other again. No, I don't feel it. Oh, this is the new area over here for uh, River Town, but. I don't know if we can go through to somewhere else because I don't want to ride their their brand new River Rapids yet. I think we gotta go back the way we came. And let's check. We might as well for the footage. Yeah. I just. Also, they have cinnamon bread here too. I don't know which way. Let's go. Let's just go this way. Yeah, but Time Traveler, such a great ride, man. I can't say it enough. That was, well, we've ridden some awesome roller coasters on this trip. I mean, honestly, it's a little insane. But. Going down here, across the train track. Yeah, we'll have to get a ride on that later. Maybe the River Rapids it has the tallest drop on a River Rapids in the Western Hemisphere. Oh, goody. So definitely be interesting. Wow, guys, this park's so immersive. Pop is looking at everything. There's a lot to look at. Things to look at. Yeah. But, uh, wow. Just wow. Is that just an observation talent? I don't know what it is. You know, I'm going to be walking back up there. Yeah. If there's nothing down here. Yeah. I told you this is a hilly park. Well, hilly is one thing, but to travel on hills just for the sheer fun of it is not something I had in mind. Well, I didn't think Time Traveler would make my top 20 either, but a lot of surprises today. It's a big freaking cookie, I think. Over 
over here. Let's see. There's a coaster over this way, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's where it is. Let's go do that. Outlaw Run's the RMC wooden coaster. Yeah, Yeah, we'll hit Outlaw Run for sure. That's probably a good idea. Then after Outlaw Run, I agree we need something to eat because I'm getting hungry too. And this park is famous for having great food. Yeah, so far I haven't seen anything I want to eat. Except maybe popcorn. Or that breakfast buffet, but I don't think I want that. No more breakfast anyways, it serves until 11. I know. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? We also have to get cinnamon bread here. You don't have to. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Is that? It may be the boat ride they were talking about. Maybe. I don't know what it looks like, so. Alright. This is Rivertown, the new area for 2020. It's a brand new area for 2020. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there's the River Rapids. Reportedly really good. But I don't know. We might try it later on, I don't know. You wanna get the cinnamon bread now? No, I can't eat it. And you and you eat at the smokehouse. I don't want to eat smoked anything. Uh, this is the only place that If Outlaw Run, I don't know where we're going. That's the problem. I don't think Outlaw Run. Oh yeah, Outlaw Run this way. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna cut until we get to Outlaw Run. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we're approaching the one, the only Outlaw Run. I'm excited, guys. Oh man. Zero minute wait. I love it. Good to see. 
Hurry, come on. Before this line comes hurry, come on. Quick, fast. How do you get it out? How do you get it out? Get it when you get back in. There we go. Got some theming here in the two line. We'll be straight on it, looks like. Pretty quickly, so see you guys on the ride. Wow, Outlaw Run, what a ride. Really shaky for an RMC though. But pretty insane nonetheless. Yeah, it had great ejector. The double barrel roll got some great hang time. Only complaint I have is shakiness and also I did notice the restraint came down during the ride. Um, did you notice that too, the restraint coming down? I don't think it could have come down any farther. Well, I gave myself room and it stapled, the ride itself stapled me, so. But great airtime. What a drop, though. The first drop, 81 degrees, 168 feet, I do believe is the drop. And you feel every foot of it. It's awesome. I mean, great ejector moments. I will say, people are right, it's a very short ride. It's lightning quick but that's because it maintains its speed throughout the entire course so you end up maintaining 68 mile an hour top speed a lot of the time and you end up with um, with a very quick ride even though the track length isn't horrible the ride length is maybe 30 seconds from the disengaging from the lift to the end maybe 40 uh, maybe 40 yeah so it it's not a long ride, but wow, is it good. I think I prefer it over Time Traveler. Really? Well, I don't know. I have to think about that. Same same here, I have to think. Uh, I think me and Papa are going to get something to eat now. Because we're both starving. But uh, yeah, I'll all around, what a ride. That thing is freaking awesome, man. I'm telling you, it's awesome. There's a the lift over there. Wow, what a ride. I'll see you wherever we go next. Wow. Well guys, uh, we're thinking smokehouse and cinnamon bread. Papa needs to keep his sugar up with his diabetes, so maybe he'll take a couple bites of the cinnamon bread, considering how much he loved it last time. And I can imagine it's just as good here as it is yeah. at Dollywood. Yeah, maybe. But, um, wow. It looks like uh, their River Rapids is down right now. No. Not only down, but not River Rapids. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I know they had preview rides. Uh, really? Yeah, they had them a, a week or two ago. They had... Oh, well, maybe that. But I... Like today. No, but I don't know. We'll see. Well, right now we're headed over down to Rivertown for the Rivertown Smokehouse and also for some great old cinnamon bread. Um, I mean, it's gonna be lit. Cinnamon bread is awesome. It's just so good. So uh, we're heading down to Rivertown now. See you guys with the food review in a sec. All right guys, so we got this triple pork sandwich with tater tots. Tater tots I've already tried, they're pretty good. There's like sweet potatoes and regular. And they're really good. Um, also got this, pork, this pork sandwich. And over here we got cinnamon bread, which is for dessert. So uh, let's try the pork sandwich, see how it is. Hope you can see me if you can't, sorry. Oh man. Mmm. Oh man. That's good. Good. A little dry, so I'm gonna add the barbecue sauce that they gave me. A spicy barbecue sauce, so we'll see how that goes. Douse it in barbecue sauce. Take this, put it back on. All right, guys, let's try it with the barbecue sauce. Mm. 
even better. What are you looking for? Napkins? Yep. Me too. There's one in here. All right, guys, I'll cut to when I eat the cinnamon bread, but this is good stuff, guys. Okay, guys, we just ate. I decided to skip filming the cinnamon bread because, to be honest, it was not great. But I'm just going to be real with you. It wasn't great. Dollywood's was great. This? No. Nah. I actually threw it away. That's how bad it was. So. Well, was, you didn't pay for it. So. Well, yeah, I didn't pay for it either. So I was perfectly okay with throwing it away. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to head over to Wildfire, which is the park's Bollinger and Mabillard, or B&M, sit-down roller coaster. It wow. opened in the year 2001, I do believe. So, I think we'll get a good mix of old and new B&M here. I've heard this ride is very good in the front, the back, any row. Though apparently the drop has an ejector pop on the back. According to Airtime Thrills, that's interesting. There's the uh, part Splash Battle, which I've never ridden one of those, but I don't think I'm going to. It's basically a ride where you squirt people with water while you ride the ride. No. No, I don't think I do. You want to do that, Kevin? Yeah. I mean... It looks cool, I guess, but not for me, I don't think. Pokes and floats. Oh, we got it. We have no idea where we're going, but... See, we're getting up here. There's wildfire, all right. The, over there, wildfire, the park's 2001 B&M sit-down roller coaster. Uh, definitely gonna be an interesting ride. I'm not sure. I feel like it's going to mix old and new B&M together because 2000, 2001 was kind of when they started transitioning into that more floaty feeling on rides, but they weren't all the way there yet. So I feel like this could be a best of both worlds kind of situation. Good hang time on the inversions, but good intensity on the pullouts. But uh, we shall see. So uh, let's get ready for a wildfire the park's B&M sit down. Wow. Look at this. Wildfire, everybody. Let's get ready to ride. If Coaster Papa ever hurries up and you gotta toss that. Come on. I'll toss it when I'm ready. No, there's no trash cans down there, so you're gonna toss it now. Oh boy. All right, guys, we're going to get on the park, 2001 B&M. Um, this is going to be fun. Pretty sure those are legit grapes. Huh? Pretty sure there was grapes there. Wildfire this way? Is it that way or this way? I think it's pointing this way, yeah. Alright guys, yep. And there's American Plunge, which is the park's lock bloom. Don't think we'll be doing that. Wildfire to the right. Alright guys, let's 
all right for being out. Wow. All right. Is there water on the camera? There we go. Alright, so there it is towering up. Parks being them sit down. I will see you guys on the ride. See you guys on the ride. All right, guys. So just a little bit of a look at the station theming here. Really nice. Wow. Really well done here for a 2001 coaster from B&M. Uh, looks like we'll be waiting a while. So uh, I'll see you whenever we're done waiting. All right, guys. I figured I'd show you this theming right here while we're here. Pretty cool indeed. Yeah. All right, there it is. Down the road. Yeah, all right, guys. So we just got off Wildfire, the 2000 M1 B and M sit down coaster. Wow, what a ride. That was fun. That was, it wasn't the most intense b and I've ridden, that's for sure. But it was fun, and that's what's important, is that it's fun. First drop had some really cool views, like just as you go over, then you got the Immelman that just flies you up high above the tree line. Then you hit the vertical loop, and then this Cobra Roll was pretty intense. It I actually was. liked the Cobra Roll. The trim that sometimes hits at the bottom of the Cobra Roll was not hitting at all. Because I've heard that turn sometimes does hit, but it didn't hit. No, I didn't feel it. Yeah. And you got that turn right there, exiting Cobra Roll. That was pretty cool. Corkscrew, I think, was the highlight of the ride for me. Yeah, Corkscrew was pretty good. Yeah, the Corkscrew. If you look at off-ride, it's actually a really tight Corkscrew. So, here comes the train. Wow, what a ride. Really fun. Get some off road shots here. Good look at what it does. Drops down and then flies up into the animal man. Alright, uh, we're gonna go find Powder Keg, I think. Uh, but yeah, Wildfire, heck of a ride. Highly recommend it. Good B&M. Um, it's not the best B&M, but it's not lower tier either. I'd say it's mid-tier B&M for me. It's not elite, but it's pretty fun. So, would I buy a shirt for it? Probably not, but it is still a fun ride.
I've heard that the back road is pretty insane, so if we have time later before we go to the water park here at Silver Dollar City, because we have tickets for that, before we do that, we'll have to see if we can't get some re-rides in, but it's already the plan. Where's the answer for your t-shirt that you really need, the one that says Roller Coaster Addiction? Huh. I didn't know they had that. Wow. Hey, a little trolley horse from where they stapled me. Huh. Now, guys, we're going to go find Powder Keg somewhere. And uh, that is the uh, SNS launch coaster that, that was partly Premier Rides, partly SNS. The conversion of the old Buzzsaw Falls water coaster into a launch coaster. And the uh, conversion was done by SNS uh, Worldwide. So. That's pretty cool. Fun fact for you there. Here's the lock from American Plunge. Probably not going to give that a go at all. It's actually cool today, so maybe... I and mean, that would be a good reason not to. It looks like you get pretty wet on this one. This way back to town. Question is which way to powder keg? Oh, that's cool. Little river area. Elephant. What? I don't want to take that. I know. Did you almost fall? The trip. Alright. Well, happens sometimes when you're used to the deck moving on you, so you keep it your feet close to the deck. And all of a sudden nothing's moving you hit up. Something you're supposed to be there. Ah. Uh, Alright guys, so we're finding, if we can, the launch coaster powder keg. Um Oh! Chipmunk. Oh. That's cool. Little chipmunk running around. Um, I'm guessing that way. Alright guys, we're going to head to Powder Keg, which looks like it's over here. Yeah, I think we can cut through over here to Powder Keg because there's a sign right there. Alright guys, we're looking for a Powder Keg, a blast into the wilderness, the compressed air launch coaster here at the park. Here it is, powder keg, everybody. Wow, this hill. Drains you, man, these hills. They really drain you. All right, guys, let's get ready for a ride on powder keg. See you on the ride. Okay guys, we just got off Powder Keg, a blast into the wilderness. It was okay. It was definitely not a butter smooth ride. No. It had a lot of track profiling issues, but because of the lap bars, it was tolerable. Oh, Kangaroo jerky. You're no. kidding. I want to tr ostrich. Hold on a minute. Ah. <laughs> you said what? Ostrich, this world's going to heck, man. <laughs> Ostrich jerky. I don't even want to know how they get that one. 
fuck is this guy? Cut strips of ostrich and you put it in a in a salt container, basically, right? No, you do it. Well, you can do it that way and dry it. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was interesting. Yeah, but powder keg's an okay ride. I'd say. Yeah. The launch is the best in the park because time travelers' launches are forceless. But the rest of the ride is okay. It's not an elite coaster or anything. It's just there. It's just a fun little ride to go to. So, so uh, yeah, I'll see where we go next. I gotta charge the glasses, guys. All right, guys. So we just got off fire in the hole, and I didn't tell Papa about the little surprise at the end. And he's not happy that I didn't tell him, is he? No, he isn't. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, um, I got a little more wet than I thought I would, actually. I didn't anticipate there being that much water. What are you doing? I'm trying to make sure all my glasses are clean. It's fun. There was nothing scary in there about it at all. All right. All right, so guys, that was a that was an okay ride. I mean, considering it's old, very old. Old is it? He said. Seventies, I think. Oh. Yeah, I'm about there. I'm in the seventies somewhere. Not seventy something years. Oh. Nineteen seventies. All right. What? Come on. Where are we going? Wildfire in the back row. Before Thunderation in the kitty cred. Where's Wildfire? Over that way. How far? Not too far and Papa, you'll be fine. I told you I was going to run you ragged today. Yeah. I wasn't joking. Why? Because are I... You, so you can leave late and get to St. Louis late? No, because I want to see... I'm pushing your limits. But I will not exceed them. What the hell is going on with your pocket? I don't know. Okay, guys, so uh, we're going to head over to Wildfire, get a back row ride. Come on, Papa, you're fine. Let me, give me a minute. Please. You just sat down on a ride for like three minutes. That doesn't count. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. The rock here don't break my back when I'm not thinking about it or seeing it. <sighs> Alright guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay guys, so we are going to Wildfire. We're going to get a back row ride on that beast of a b and I've heard the first drop in the back row of Wildfire is something of a legend. So we're going to hopefully get a back row ride. We're probably going to end up waiting for Wildfire a bit, because it does tend to get a line as of recent. But, uh, yeah, I've heard rumors that Wildfire's first drop in the back row is legendary. So we're going to ask... Is the Yes. So we're going to ask for the backmost row. See if we can't get it. Because, rumor has it, it's something of legends. So I want to test that out. But look at this area here. It's just so nice. Like, well presented, well done. And a lot of it is natural terrain that did it. The natural terrain. Why are people coming back? Because this is how you get out, too. It wasn't an hour, it was about 20 minutes, maybe 30. Alright guys, there it is peeking up. Wildfire. Let's get ready for a 2001 B&M sit down. Let's hope to get a back row guys. Wow, look at that loop. Alright guys, I'll see you on the ride.
All right, guys, we just got off Wildfire back row, and I said earlier that it's a middle of the road BM looper. That was before we rode in the back row of Wildfire. I'd say it's an elite BM looping coaster. One of the better BM custom loopers I have ridden, and definitely one of the more unique BM <coughs> custom loopers in terms of layout. It, oh, yeah. Everything was not in the order that typically BM loopers go loop, dive looper, Immelman. Zero G roll, Cobra roll, interlocking corkscrews. That's how they always go, or maybe an extra loop. Here, you got Immelman, loop, Cobra roll, corkscrew. Definitely a unique layout. I almost want to buy a shirt from there, almost. I don't know. Well, I'm not coming back to decide. Let me look at prices. It's a great ride, guys. Highly recommend it. One of the best B&M loopers in the back. I'll see you guys in a bit, maybe I'll buy a shirt. Mm. All right, guys, so we got off Wildfire. Really enjoyed the back row ride on Wildfire. So we were talking about maybe doing an outlaw run, and we decided against it, and that may shock some of you guys. Because A, I didn't get a front row POV. I only got a back row. And there is one simple reason. The ride is shaky, but that's a, that's not the simple reason. I honestly don't think it's worth a re-ride. It was a great ride, but I just... I honestly don't think it's worth it. And that sounds really weird because it's an RMC, but to be honest, it's one of the, like I said, that's one of the best RMCs coming off of it. But then I thought about it and I realized the layout is one of the best RMCs. The ride experience, not so much. So I have to go back on my word on that. And I apologize. I think that the issue is the layout was great but the shakiness was really noticeable and it actually was painful in certain areas. And I think that's what really takes away from the ride for me to the point where I'd rather just go ride Thunderation and Time Traveler and the Kitty Cred and then get ready for the water park tonight rather than actually ride out while we're running. And I thought about it, me and Papa talked about it, but we both agreed it was too shaky. So definitely something to note that the first RMC Woody has gotten rough and, it's a, and it makes you wonder, will we see a, uh, another, RMC, oh, another RMC Woody get rough? And that question is lightning rod. I don't know, will it happen in a couple years? All our run now in its seventh season is definitely shaky. It's noticeable and I don't know. But uh, we're not going to be riding that again today, likely. We're going to head over to Thunderation, get another ride on Time Traveler, probably. Um, and then maybe a ride on, uh, and get the ride on the Kitty Cred. And then by then it should be 5 o'clock, and we're hoping to head over to the water park. Papa's going to do some rides, then he's going to relax until, um, until... Until I leave, and you're going to have to call me to come and get you. Uh, maybe. We'll have to see. But yeah, um, Wildfire though in the back row was awesome. Uh, we're gonna head over to Thunderation, which is apparently on a 45 minute wait last I checked. Get that noise. Where's the other thing? This is Wildfire, so we just go that way. I understand, but where is the city coaster? All the way up here. <laughs> so. All right, guys, let's get ready to go. The first, Thunderation, and then Time Traveler, and then we'll hit, um, we'll hit the Kitty Cred, and by then it should be around five o'clock, and we should be good for our entry into the water park, which we have no idea where it is, because it's not attached immediately to the amusement park, so. Oh, there's one problem, Papa. What? I have no freaking idea where the water park is. Me either. <laughs> we'll have to look it up online. It shouldn't be a big deal. So. Let's see. Follow the signs for time traveler. It's tempting to get Outlaw Run again. I really am tempted. 
but this time isn't on our side right now. Because over there, like if I'm going to get re-rides, it's not going to be that. You sure you don't want Outlaw Run? It's right there. No. Alright. And I don't really feel like getting beat up again either. Though the front might be better, but the chances of getting assigned to a front row ride on that are not high. Oh look, there's the river rapids, it's, it's going. There's seriously an elevator lift to bring the river rapid to the top. American. Copyright, I'll cut the clip here, guys. Well, we just got off that, and what track profiling was that? Terrible track profiling. That was a disaster. That was an utter disaster. That beat me up worse than the other one that beat us up pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, that sucked. Every single transition was bad. And then where there shouldn't have even been a transition, there were transitions. I mean, it was just a terrible ride, guys. Not even fun for the kids. Like, I can imagine there are kids who don't like it, roller coasters because of that ride. Yeah. I mean, it's bad. Like, look at that track profiling. What the heck? Okay. Whatever. As you can see, it's not profiled well at all, especially on this turn here. Not only that, but you saw the... Oh yeah, it was bending. And a quarter inch and a half flex. Look, here's what concerned me. It wasn't the structure flexing as much as it was actually the track. So, uh, onwards and upwards, we're going to hit Thunderation, the Aero Mine Train, the final credit we need here at Silver Dollar City. Probably end the day at the amusement park at, um at Time Traveler for one last ride, I'd say. And then after Time Traveler, we got the water park, which I may do a separate vlog for, I'm not sure. Because this vlog's already going to be about an hour and 40 minutes long. I don't need to add the water park on. So, I mean... I don't know. We'll see. Alright. Wait, where are we going? I don't know, time travel, wherever it is. I know, but is this the right way? I don't know. You're, you're no, the guy who knows the map. It's not. I followed you. You started going this way. Uh-huh. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah. All right, so we're going to find our way out of the Grand Exposition area of the park. There's a Zamperla Disco. No, it's there. Yes, it is. That's how we came in. All right, guys, we're going to go this way. I'll see you over at Thunderation. Alright guys, so there's a little bit of theming, so I figured I'd show it to y'all. We're in a mine tunnel now for Thunderation. The R Dynamics Custom Mine Train Coaster. Oh, they're testing time travel already, so that's a good sign. Okay, oh, nice. Alright guys. Here we got a line, I'll see you guys on the ride. Alright guys, we just got off Thunderation. How was that ride, Papa? Oh, it was okay. He's messing around, that was awesome. For a mine train? Yeah, it was. The element that really got me really excited about this ride was that you did not lose speed during that first portion of the ride. 
you constantly gained more and more speed. And as you get... Part of that based on the terrain the ride built on. Yes, you just... The lift hill doesn't happen until almost at the end of the ride. And you pull some really good G-forces on Thunderation. I honestly like it better than Roadrunner Express. Sorry, Alan Schill. Now, your new favorite mine train? Yeah. All right, I agree. That thing was awesome. Now we're going for a ride on time, Traveler. We're going to travel through the depths of space-time through multiple inversions and launches as we get ready for the world's tallest, fastest, and longest spinning roller coaster with the steepest drop, if I recall. So, hope you guys are ready. I don't know if I am. It was pretty insane the first time. Let's get ready to go. See you on the ride. Again, did you want All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a shirt, but not yet. I'll get a shirt, but not yet. Um, so, we just got off Time Traveler, and that was a totally different ride, actually. Um, I know it's technically a controlled spin, but it's like it has a different control. I think it just controls how fast it spins because I'm gonna be real, that was pretty crazy. Um, got in the angle we got for some reason gave us better ejector airtime on the back row. What a ride, man. I mean, Time Traveler is just an excellent roller coaster. I think it might be the pride and joy of Mack rides outside of Helix at Lisieberg. Because that ride is awesome. And Helix is the only thing I can think of that would rival this. It's way better than Copperhead. If it was longer, it'd be even better. But, yeah. I think something with Mac and Terrain Coasters. Maybe there should be a hint there. I'm going to be getting a Time Traveler shirt. But first, I'm going to get another ride on Thunderation. See you guys there. Yeah. Alright guys, so I just got off Thunderation front row. I don't know what it was. It was actually more intense, yes, in the front. But ridiculously rougher. I mean, I took a shot to the ribs on one of the helixes and that did not go so well. I'm in pain right now. I don't think it's cracked, but it came close. I mean, that's how hard it was. Um, yeah. Definitely ride in the back for the best experience with Thunderation is my my two cents on that if you want the best experience If you want the most intensity, yeah the front But if you want the best experience where you'll think it's your favorite mine train Ride in the back because back row Thunderation is my favorite mine train. So uh, yeah No one in the station though. I just walked right on the ride So that was good So all right guys, so I'm gonna go get me some Time Traveler merch and then we're gonna head out to Silver Dollar City, find the water park, do the water park. That'll probably be a separate vlog. So, yeah. Yeah, it's been a great day here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button. And remember to join the Coastal Land family if you have not already done so by subscribing. Till next time, this is Kids Coastal Land signing off.